two, one, zero, lift off. Another batch of Starlink satellites is now floating in space. Just before 5 this morning, SpaceX launched another Falcon 9 rocket from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Falcon 9's first stage returned to Earth as planned about eight minutes after liftoff, setting down on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Well, this morning's launch created quite a buzz from so many of our viewers all across the Triangle and beyond. Joining us to talk about what was in the sky is NASA Ambassador Tony Rice. Tony, I know you've seen a lot of these uh, Starlink launches, so this is old hat to you. But for us, this was the highlight of the morning because even on our WRL live cameras, we could see uh, that path. And what you noticed was that trail, that rocket trail was Mm -hmm. so defined. Why was it? Yeah, so it's it, this happens just about every week. There's a launch mm-hmm. from Cape Canaveral. Uh, but this one was a little bit rare because of when it happened. So what you were seeing, there was the rocket exhaust. And I've heard people describe it as looking a little bit like a jellyfish, which I think is a pretty good description. Mm. It never gets old hat. It's beautiful to see in the sky. What you're seeing there, as the rocket gets higher and higher in the atmosphere, that exhaust expands because there's less pressure up there. Uh, like I say, we see this happening about every week, but this one was rare because of when it happened. When these launches occur in the hour after sunset, or in this case, before sunrise, still dark down here on the ground, really kind of dark in the sky, but the sun's just high enough to catch that rocket exhaust and illuminate it so it really stands out and we can really see it. And what's the purpose of all these launches every week? What's the mission for this? Right. This particular launch was with the Starlink satellites, Mm -hmm. which is providing Internet service. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's about 6,000 of them up there. Uh, SpaceX plans to put over 42,000. This one had about 60 of them that are all going to be put into orbit. We'll have an opportunity to see those particular satellites, the ones that were launched this morning, tomorrow a little bit after 5 a.m. And if you miss them tomorrow morning... If you look around the same time on Friday morning, mm-hmm. they will look like a string of pearls, like a, a string of several lights moving slowly across the sky. And really quickly, when might be, we see something like this again in the morning for us? <laughs> yeah, it, it all depends on when the launches occur. So okay, I'm yeah. not sure when the next one will happen, where mm-hmm. something like this will happen. We will definitely try and catch it and give you some, some warning ahead of time on WRAL.com. Uh, I'll have an article up a little bit later this afternoon with more details on how you can see this one. Uh, But, you know, this one was just really rare. It was the right place at the right time. And along with Tony's blog, a lot of the viewer photos who uh, viewers sent in those beautiful photos from this morning. We also have that on WRL.com in case you weren't up to watch. It's quite phenomenal. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me.